So let's take a look at installing uh, updates from Windows updates from PowerShell. Now, just so you know, this process has changed a few times since uh, PowerShell first came out. So I'll sometimes find documentation on the Internet that's not really accurate anymore. And what we're going to do now may actually change before long if Microsoft keeps up their pattern of mm, updating Windows Update. So I'll walk you through what we're doing or how we can manage this right now in Windows 10 and Server 2019. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about doing it without WSUS. So this is just going to be uh, working with updates on the local machine. Now, you can do updates on the remote mach on remote machines using invoke command to run commands on remote devices. <clears throat> But we're going to focus on doing it locally, and then if you want to use invoke command to do it on a remote command or on remote devices, the commands will still work. So the module we have is the Windows Update Provider. So we're going to do the command get, preferably with a T, get command module Windows Update Provider. And this will give us a handful of commands. And you'll notice all of these are functions, by the way. Um, they're not actually direct commandlets. They are functions. But that's okay. And we're going to use them the same way. So you'll notice we've got a couple of get things here, which are really useful. Get Windows Update version. Get uh, Windows Update is pending reboot. So what that does is, you know, sometimes you'll do an update or you'll have a Windows Update run in the background. And you'll have something pop up on your task notification saying, hey, this system needs to make do a reboot for the update to take effect. So this, uh, because we don't have the task bar down here in the corner, the uh, or the uh, system tray, the notifications area, the way we do in a uh, system with a GUI, we have the get Windows update is pending reboot will let us know if we are needing a reboot or not. Get Windows update last installation date, get Windows update last scan success date. And then start scan and install Windows updates. So let's start taking a look at these. Let's do get WU is pending reboot. And that's just going to give us a simple true or false. Yes, we are pending a reboot. No, we're not pending a reboot. All right. If it is, then we'll probably need to reboot at some point. If not, why worry about it? So let's look at the next one. Get Windows Update last installation date. And this is going to give us our last installation date. Now, this I occasionally have issues with. Now, this is a brand new, well, relatively brand new system. I've been using it for demos, but I haven't tried to uh, update anything on it. So it says, you know, the last time we updated was in 1600. We had no idea Microsoft was at old digit. Well, it doesn't have a last installation date. Now, I have had issues where I will do it installation and this installation date doesn't update. Um, that may be an issue with Microsoft, it may be an issue with the fact that it just hasn't uh, recognized that uh, installation date yet. So we're not going to worry about that too much other than just knowing that it is there and if it works correctly it should tell us when we got our last uh, update. The next one is really useful. Get Windows Update last scan success date. When was the last time we actually scanned and got updates um, or got a list of updates that were available? And I actually ran this a little bit earlier today. Now my time date is off, but it is November 5th. I actually ran this. This is always consistently updated for me. So that's really useful. Now the two commands, these are all information commands. The two that we're going to use a lot is start WU scan and, and install WU updates. So let's start with the scan. So we're going to do a start WU scan. So let's start Windows update scan. Now this might take it a couple of minutes. That's okay. What it's doing is it's looking to see if there are Windows updates that are available. So this is the same thing as if you manually trigger a Windows update search, you know, go look for updates now in the GUI. In this case it came back with two of them. Now for these we're going to have a title and included in that title right here is the knowledge base number that references it. So if I want to go look up and see what this is um, 
all the details about this update, I can look it up under that KB or Knowledge Base article number. A description of what it is. Interestingly enough, we have a specific ID field here for Knowledge Base. We just don't use it. We have a source severity. Notice neither one of those have that. We do have a revision number and then an update ID. And we have that for all of our Windows updates. Now these are updates that are available that have not been installed yet. So um, it's not going to list all of them that we have installed or anything like that. It's all of these that have not been installed yet that we may need to install. Now that is how I discover it. The way I install it, let me run my get command here again, is the install wu updates. Now, uh, before we do that, let's look at git help on a couple of these things. Let's git help start w, whoops, dash, wu updates. Also, um, whoops, I was doing the wrong one. wu scan is one that I want to look at. Okay, so start wu scan. Notice there is not a whole lot of help files here. And I've updated help pretty recently on this thing. Um, and on another system, I updated it you know, half an hour ago. And it still didn't give me a whole lot of help. Um, but you can find some documentation for it online. Now, it's pretty straightforward to start uh, WU scan, and we can set search criteria. So I can look for particular um, objects. I can look for particular updates. And you're going to need to go online to find good documentation for this uh, because there is some uh, little formatting that you have to do. It's kind of like using the get AD object uh, where you have to do a specific filter. It's very, very similar except uh, similar syntax, although here we call it search criteria. Now, this is going to discover our updates. We're going to install them using the install, whoops, get help install wu updates now this one actually breaks the pattern almost everywhere in powershell microsoft does everything singular this one they actually do plural it's updates not update so if you're like me and you used to typing singular you're going to mistype this command a lot um, that's okay it's a real quick fix all right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to install uh, Windows updates. We're going to identify the updates based on CIM instance. And then we can specify whether we want to download only. Boolean means true or false. We can do it with another CIM session, throttle limits, do it as job, which this one is actually really, really useful because this process is going to take a while. And so doing it as job, you can run it as a background job. And we're not going to deal with that right now. Uh, we might deal with that a little bit later on. But the idea is I can do it as a background job, and then I can later on go on and retrieve that job and see uh, if it's successfully completed or not. If I don't do it as job, it's going to do it interactively, which means it's going to basically pause my session while it actually executes these updates. Now, how do we get these to work together? Because we're using a CIM instance, we can't say install Windows Update and then just give it a name for the update. It won't do that. So there's a couple of different ways to do it. One is to take to run our start WU scan. And remember, this is going to retrieve our updates. And we can save the results of this in a variable. And then we can pass that variable to the install WU updates. So it would be update whoops dollar sign update dollar sign update equals start wu scan and then it's going to save that update information in the dollar sign update variable and then it would be install wu update dollar sign update and then that should install those updates. Now there is another way to do it too. So real quick before I show you the, the other way. Um, if you're looking for specific updates, you identify specific updates using this right here, the start WU scan. So you do your search criteria and you'd search to find the exact one and then you would save that in your uh, 
variable and then you would run the variable. Now the other way to do it on a single with a single command is install wu update open parentheses. Now remember the open parentheses says run this first and start wu scan. And again if I wanted to do a look for a specific update um, I would do start wu uh, scan search criteria and I'd put in all the criteria for it. So what this does is this says we're going to install the Windows update but before we do let's run the wu scan and then we're going to put everything that that returns here as the uh, parameter for the install wu update. And when you're the only time you need to put PowerShell commands inside parentheses like this is if you're specifically changing the order of operations because by default it'll run the first PowerShell command, then the second, then the third, then the fourth. What this does is this changes the order. It says, all right, I'm going to run the first, but before I do that, I'm going to run this one to get the information that I need to run the first one over here. All right, we hit enter. It runs a start WU scan, and that start WU scan is going to run find the available updates. Remember when I said I mistype install WU updates? There we go. So it's going to return those, and then it's going to pass that or use those as the options for the install WU updates. And here is WU updates running. Now you'll see I've got zero of one completed, and it's currently downloading. Now I've got a couple of other big downloads running right now, so this is going to take it a little while. So rather than letting this run um, while you know we're sitting here talking about it, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. And then I'm going to pick it up. We'll resume the video once uh, we get done with this part of the process. So as you can see, we're not done yet here, but notice how this has changed. We are now running the install rather than downloading it. So it will keep you updated step by step as it goes through the process of installing all of your Windows updates. Okay, so our update is finally finished, and the result we get when it comes back, our little progress bar goes away, and we get down here a little true that tells us, hey, congratulations, we got this done. Uh, we have everything um, we have everything installed. So it'll return true or false. True, it successfully installed the updates. False, it didn't. Now, uh, one more thing we always want to check. We want to run, and we looked at this command a little bit earlier. Get... There we go. Get WU Windows Update is reboot pending. Is pending reboot. There we go. That'll make more sense. Is pending reboot. And it says true. Now remember when we ran it before we did the update, it said, hey, we didn't need to reboot, so it came back with a false. But now that we do need to reboot, because we did a Windows update that requires a reboot to finish taking effect, we need to go ahead and reboot the computer. And remember, we do that with just a restart-computer. Okay, there we go. We have looked at the last time updates were installed, looked at the last time they were scanned, found new updates, installed new updates, and now we're getting ready to reboot to finish off the installation of our updates.